In the words of Bender from Futurama, I'm back, baby! Nikki B917 here, and this is part one of my walkthrough on Super Mario Galaxy! Thank you, Mario. Bet you weren't expecting to hear from me for a while. Well, the plan was, I was gonna uh, do the subtitles for Sonic Adventure, and then I would start Mario Galaxy, but I've been itching to play this game for a while now. Uh, I haven't beaten it, or I haven't even picked it up in months, so here we go. I just put a fresh set of batteries into my Wiimote, and we are ready to go. Super Mario Galaxy. Alright, now, we're going to start off on Planet 3, mostly because that's the first one I don't have a file on. Uh, yeah, those are just my, uh, friends we um, uh, or, yeah, they're Wii's. So, or they're me's, my bad. So, we're gonna start off as Mario. Yes, we're gonna use that icon. Uh, that doesn't really have any real bearing. It just, uh, is for, uh, to tell the difference between a cup between different uh, files. So, here we go! Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies with countless shooting stars raining down. I meant that, but I don't care. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Dear Mario, I'll be waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give you. From Peach. It better not be a cake. After all the times I've saved your ass, you better be getting me something a lot better. Like a Maserati or something so I don't have to freaking walk. <laughs> You're a princess. You're supposed to be rich. So, like, start treating your savior like it. I don't know. Alright, now this game's kind of cool. Uh... First of all, you can point the Wii remote at the screen to pick up all these little star bits that keep falling to the ground. So that's kind of cool. Seriously, you'd think that by now, Mario wouldn't be walking, you know? He'd have some cool car or something like a Ferrari or, like I said, a Maserati. And oh crap! That is no bueno. Big effing thing alert! Oh. But seriously, have you ever noticed how every event seems to happen, like, or just so happens to happen right around the time Mario's around? Think about it. Back in Mario Party 3, the uh, Millennium Star comes up every thousand years. Uh, the Star Festival happens every hundred years, and it just so happens that it that they both happen at the same time Mario is around, not only around, but in his prime. Anybody else find that weird? Because I find that weird. And there's Peach with her star... I guess, I don't know. And... No prizes if you can figure out who's, my, who's the mastermind behind all this. I'll give you a hint. It's that guy. The big, the big guy with the green shell and the spikes and the red hair and stuff and junk. Princess Peach, you are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. Toad, you are worthless! Qua ha 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 ha. The festival is over! Hey, when did he get this power? All of a sudden, he's a little bit more formidable. Oh man, I really hope that that can be the cat. There we go, the cat. Alright, now, all hell has broken loose. Ah, we're all gonna die! <laughs> I don't want to die, I'm too useless to die! Yes, you are. Yes, you are, too. I'm coming! Come on! Alright, well, you can still do all the cool stuff that Mario... Oh, damn! I just got hit by a freaking asteroid! I got hit by another one, but that I was still uh, hurting from the first one. Damn! What are the odds of that happening?
Now check out what happens here and see if it reminds you of any other Mario Party game. Lasers! I hope that was drowned out. Okay. Whoa. Hmm, chains going to the ground. Attached to Bowser's ship. Chain Titans. And... For it. Peach's castle is lifted out of the ground. Now, does that remind you of anything? Like, I don't know, Paper Mario? Uh, I don't know, like, exactly? Come on. Come on, Nintendo. Come up with some new stuff, please. But, damn! How did that thing go that fast? It was just on the ground, and now it's in space! Space shuttles don't go that fast, and their whole purpose is to get into space. Wow. Did anybody else find it weird that Mario has brown hair but a black mustache? Somebody's dying! In more than one way now! <laughs> and... Home. Oh, he is so dead. And there's another similarity between this game and Paper Mario. He gets knocked out of space! And into... and back onto Earth. Well, at least knocked off. Space. He, in this game, he doesn't fall back to Earth. All right, we're at about six minutes, or almost seven minutes. Am I dead? Is this heaven? Of course, you're not dead. As I've said, nobody ever dies in a Nintendo game ever. Whoa! Check this out. Okay, now you're a rabbit. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Uh, there's bigger things going on right now, like, oh, I don't know, the complete and utter destruction of the Mushroom Kingdom, but alright, I'll play. So, your first mission is to chase this rabbit. Now, he'll kind of, you won't be able to catch him, you'll just be led over to his friends. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Oh, uh, here's a better idea. How about just tell me where you are, and they'll poof away. But, I think we're going to end this video off right here. So, this has been NickyD917 saying thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 2 of my video on Super Mario Galaxy. I will see you next time.